In this video, I showed you how to install Portainer on Synology, and today I'm going to be talking about installing Bookstack on Synology using Portainer Docker Compose. That was kind of a mouthful, but if you already have Portainer installed on Synology, it's pretty easy. If you don't, just reference that video and we'll get started. By the way, I'm going to explain the echo in this video at the end of this video. I think you're going to get a kick out of it. This is assuming that you already have Portainer installed on your Synology NAS. And I want to take a look at one thing here before we get started. And that is the compose file, which is this file right here. One thing that's very important is the volumes for both the app and the database. Fortunately, these both use the same config um, folder that's going to be mounted within our Synology NAS to volume one, Docker, Bookstack. So that's the first thing that we need to do. So now that we see this right here, I'll highlight it so you can see it. So we're gonna go ahead and create that folder within Docker, then we'll create a new folder and just call it Bookstack. And keep in mind, this is case sensitive and all of those config files that are in this comp uh, compose file right here will be mounted into this folder within this folder here. Now that we have our folders mounted, all we have to do is jump into our code. And like I said earlier, I'll have all this stuff in the description below so you can reference it and just copy and paste it like I am here. We'll copy the compose file and we'll go into Portainer under stacks and then you click add stack, give it a name of book stack, or you can name it whatever you want really, but book stack will help you remember what the stack is. And then paste that in here. One other important thing to note is the port. Uh, if you do not have port 8912 available using your Synology, make sure you either delete the app that's using it or you put this on a different port so you can change this before you hit deploy. So let's go ahead and hit deploy. All right, it says stack successfully deployed. Let's go to containers. And sometimes when you click this, when you try to open it right away, it'll say that there's, it's, there's no connection and that's usually because it's still installing and if you look here, it's still running the database and it's still got to run some uh, installation processes. So give it a couple more minutes and it should be up and running. Okay, so the log said it was done and here we are. And make sure that you go to the right port. So if you use the default port in the compose file, it's 8912. So it'd be the IP of your server that you installed it on and then port 8912. So if you changed it, make sure you go to the right port. And the login is admin at admin.com and the password is just password, all lowercase. We'll log in, piece of cake. Bookstack is now installed on Synology. If you found this video helpful, be sure to drop me a thumbs up and a comment below because we all know those comments are gonna be going wild after this video, they always do because uh, my comment section is just on fire. But uh, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, we're on Discord too. All that information's in the description below. See you guys soon. One thing you learn when you have kids, they like to press buttons. So when I was done editing this video, I realized that uh, the echo was turned on on my soundboard. Little did I know that my son came down here and was pressing buttons earlier today. So that's what you have to look forward to when you have kids. They are a wonderful thing, though. Thanks again for watching. I thought you guys would enjoy that blooper. And that is why there's an echo in this video.